You guys want to see something stupid? Check out my selfie stick. <laughs> I can just set you guys up if I wanted to. Oh, where are you? There you are. <laughs> Welcome to Black Pearl Media, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you guys are all being nice and safe with COVID-19 around. I am under quarantine. I work from home. Today I don't have work, so uh, I figured I'd talk to you today about vinyl wrap. So I've been kind of cooped up, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Z for a little drive to a small local park, and uh, we'll talk about vinyl wrap. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Mohawk Mountain. This is a great spot, and uh, it's actually pretty rare that it's this quiet. Um, actually coming up the road, there was a lot of logs that were down, so that might be a part of it, but it's cleaned up somewhat. Um, but I just wanted to take a few minutes in this video to kind of explain to you my um, experience with vinyl wrap. Um, so my car has been vinyl wrapped for almost two years or over two years, around the two year mark. And uh, the reason I got the vinyl wrap other than, you know, painting it or plasti dipping it or something like that is I really wanted to get a unique pattern. If I was going to spend the money, I wanted to stand out, do something a little bit different. Um, and also, you know, I have a black car. It's black underneath the wrap and it's very, very hard to maintain over the years. Um, and uh, I, I'm just kind of lazy when it comes to, you know, cleaning and everything. Um, the last time I, I did a really, really nice detail, within a day I had like scratches all over it because some like bird pooped all over it and stuff. It, it was just like pretty frustrating. And I also wanted to protect it here in the here in Connecticut, you know, we have a lot of salt that's down on the roads. Although I don't like to drive it on the roads when it's salty, I tried not to. I had to do it a little bit this winter, but nothing crazy. But it also protects the uh, it also protects the the paint underneath. So that was my reasoning for getting the vinyl wrap. So um, what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take you around the car, show you how well it's hold, held up, uh, a couple different areas where it has some imperfections and things that you should. Um, kind of keep an eye out for when you're looking to get this done to your own car. Okay, so I'm going to be going handheld for this one a little bit. As you can see, it's a dark uh, urban camo. It's kind of like a black, kind of a dark gray in there. I'm going to try and keep up with autofocus on this. It's a little bit hard because I autofocus with these cameras are trash, so I'm going to be doing it manual. But yeah, so you can see the pattern there. Um, it's nice. It's a satin finish. Um, I decided to go with the satin because I didn't want a high gloss on a camouflage pattern. I didn't think that made much sense. But overall, it's held up very, very, very well over these last two years. And I'll show you some areas where there are some imperfections, but there's honestly not many. So along the front lip here, you can see, let's see if I can get that focused up perfect. So you can see like there's some bubbling right here at the seam where it just came came undone. Um, but it's not very noticeable unless you actually like look at it like very, very closely. Same thing with down there on the edge and uh, in other areas here. Um, we're going to get back to that. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but yeah, this front bumper is pretty intricate. So a lot of like the very fine edges and stuff have kind of come up but nothing crazy um looking over the seams over the rest of the car everything looks good everything's still nice and tight and crisp and i mean i don't know i don't see any difference sorry the car is dirty coming up this road has been nuts and uh, the weather hasn't been that great recently the other big one the one that i do notice after a while is this one here um this is a really big one um it's right by the right by the plate it kind of popped up like this but honestly, if I took a heat gun to this and like actually gave it some attention, that would be a very easy fix. Same thing with like the tail lights. You can see it's a little bit done here as well. Um, and that's just because it, I don't know if it tightens up or expands. I think it tightens up um, over time and with the weather changes um, and you'll get little imperfections like that. But you know, overall, it's not bad at all two years absolutely happy with it so let's talk about the benefits to vinyl wrap 
So obviously you can see that there has been some damage here. And funny story is that I accidentally rear-ended a friend of mine after we came to this location to shoot uh, a video. So he was, we were both at an intersection. He went forward and stopped when I thought he went completely and I accidentally smashed in the back of him, cracked my bumper, cracked something on his car, but I got that replaced pretty cheap. But here's the nice thing about uh, vinyl wraps, right? First of all, this aftermarket bumper was like 700 bucks. It was pretty expensive and to have it painted would have been another couple hundred dollars. Um, with vinyl wrap, uh, you're able to just wrap right over the, uh, I think this is um, fiberglass. So fiberglass, you can just wrap right over. And what I did was I fixed the crack with just using drift stitches, obviously, but just standing here, how many patches, how many patches do you think I put in here for, you know, vinyl? I had leftover vinyl and I patched it. How many do you think there are? Give up. There's like 40. There's so many patches on here, but you could, it's very, very hard to tell because, um, you know, it's all camouflage and this stuff lays so flat and everything like, here's a patch, there's a patch, there's a patch, there's a patch, there's a patch, there, 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 there. And then there's a whole bunch down there underneath. There's a ton. So that's the nice part about vinyl is uh, depending on what material it is, uh, you may not have to have it painted before you even get it wrapped. And uh, if anything like this happens, you can kind of do stuff to yourself. Now, if this was a flat color um, or a reflective color or a one color solid, like let's say it was all red and it was super reflective, probably couldn't get away with that. But, you know, I'm happy I went with the camo because I was able to mask that no problem at all. So as far as pricing goes, a lot of these wraps can vary in uh in price depending on what you want uh, if you're going to be doing the work to yourself if you're going to have somebody privately done so my case particular i can only talk about you know my own situation here is uh i went to a local vinyl uh shop and they quoted me three thousand dollars to print it there make the pattern and get it wrapped and i thought that was a little bit high um, it was at least higher than i wanted to pay so i put it out on facebook and i said hey you know um is there somebody around that does vinyl wrapping like uh, on the side, you know, in, in their own garage, on their own time, anything like that? And they pointed me in the direction of somebody uh, that I got in touch with in Connecticut. And uh, he had wrapped plenty of vehicles in the past. He had tons of experience. He said, hey, you get the vinyl. I'll wrap it for you. Um, I think I got it from Stylin. I think it's Stylin something. I'll look it up. I just double checked that. It's called Metro Restyling and it's a 3M wrap. And basically uh, the guy said, hey, you know, buy your wrap, buy as much as you need for the car, plus a little extra, um, and I'll do the labor for you. And overall, uh, it cost me 1600 bucks uh, between buying the, the wrap material, paying him the labor. He even did a couple extra things, uh, you know, in, in the interior, uh, a couple things on my dash and everything. Um, so, you know, there's ways to, uh, there's ways to save money on this too. And I, for, for the price, honestly, with the little imperfections, I mean, I could fix those myself. I just don't think they're that big of a deal. Like I don't see them from very far away. I car, I drive the car all the time. Um, whether it be daily driving or autocross or something like that, I just don't really care. I mean, I'm very, I, I use my cars. I use my cars and the, the wrap is a protective film. It looks cool. It's unique and I absolutely love it. It's easy. So I don't have to worry about washing it all the time every other weekend. Like I just don't worry about it. I don't have time for it. So um, that's, uh, that's a 3M wrap. So if you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments and subscribe to the channel. I gotta go because there's people coming. <laughs> Later. All right, I'm actually gonna finish this up in here because the two people that just rolled up left and also it started to rain. So anyways, um, closing thoughts on this is just basically, you know, vinyl wrap works really well for me. Um, if you're a kind of person who, you know, wants something a little bit different, doesn't wanna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a custom paint job, this is a great option. Um, and you can be more creative with it. Well, I won't say more creative, but you can be more creative on a budget with it. Um, and also it protects your paint. My paint job is really nice. So uh, once this gets pulled off, I mean, it's going to be preserved underneath. And I'm looking to have this wrap on here for at least a couple more years. So um, 
yeah, I really like it. If you have any questions, I'll see what I can answer down in the comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe, guys. I mean, my channel's been growing. It's been great. Thank you for uh, subscribing. And uh, stay safe with all this COVID-19 crud going around. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Later.